Hey, what's up? It's Fuel Your Life Friday. Let's go. I don't want to brag, but also, let me just go ahead and brag. (laughs) I'm kind of, sort of, really amazing at finding deals and being thrifty. I have a large extended family and I really enjoy giving gifts to people who help make my everyday life possible like my kids bus drivers or their teachers and even the mail carriers and delivery drivers. Now a huge key of me staying under budget is that I essentially shop all year round. Not even kidding. I'll begin Christmas shopping for Christmas 2022 the day after Christmas 2021. (laughs) Of course for those little things that go on clearance that will still be good. But if you're late to the game when it comes to budgeting for the holidays, don't worry because there is one fundamental piece of staying on track. And while it may seem silly, it works great. The tip is to write out every single person you're going to need to shop for and then attach a monetary value to how much you're willing to spend on that person. Write down a few ideas that you have and then begin searching. When you find the item, compare it to your budget for that person, and then kind of, you know, gauge. Does it match? Is it over my budget? Is it under my budget? Of course, being under budget is amazing. In fact, under is always my goal. But I never allow under to mean that I have to buy more. One year, I found my nephew's $45 Nike duffel bags for $15. My budget for each nephew was $25. So I didn't go and spend an additional $10 on them because they just got a gift that was worth $45 in value. Instead, I rolled over the money saved in case there was a person I forgot about or a case I needed to splurge on in another gift that, you know, kind of fell out of budget, or I just save it and call it a win. So after I write down my list for every single person, I actually do this in January. I also write down birthdays and I budget them in and I really haven't gone over budget in four years and more times than not, I'm under budget. One also little tip to do is after you've written out all of the people that you're going to shop for, make an Amazon list, wish list with all of the items that you've kind of, or ideas that you've had for them and fill it up. And then price watch. Get on every morning and just kind of see, hey, can I save $5 on that today? Hey, has it gone down 50%? It happens a lot. Sometimes I will not buy unless I know that it has dropped in price significantly. So just another little tip. But try out these tips and let me know how you fare with your holiday budget. Let me know if you stay on track or if you go over, hey, Give yourself some grace and take this information and just do better next time. Remember that gifts don't have to be fancy. Gifts from the heart are often more memorable and cherished. If you enjoyed this episode, share it with a friend and be sure to leave the podcast a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts or wherever it is that you tune in and turn it up. I'm back on Wednesday for another Life Mastery Conversation. But until then, remember, every level of life is an opportunity to grow. Be well, my friend.